Welcome to Chapter 8, Star Charts. In this chapter, we will look at how NavBlue present the information on star charts and any key differences to the Jefferson charts. Similar to the SIDS chart index page, if the aerodrome has approximately more than 10 star charts, then a star index chart will be created with a page number 40-0-1. It will be ordered by runway order and under each runway it will then be ordered alphabetically. The star chart shall contain communications information and a descriptive chart when deemed necessary and descriptive text. If official arrival procedures do not have designators or if the procedures are officially called anything else but star, the chart will be called arrival routes. Several stars can be shown on the same chart. Charts can be presented in portrait or landscape. Communication will be shown in order and charts drawn to scale as far as possible. The transition level and aerodrome elevation to be shown at the top underneath the comms. Here we are showing an altitude at a waypoint with coordinates. A procedure line with a magnetic track and a segment distance with a terminating arrow. The location of the procedure aerodrome with the runways correctly lined up to their heading. Here we can see a nav aid off the chart. The details of the nav aid will be shown, showing the name, frequency and the three letter ident. The D represents a co-located DME. Similar to SIDS, restricted, prohibited and danger areas are only to be shown if penetrating a route. Charts are drawn to scale as far as possible. For an area where the scale is distorted, the geographical background will be removed, leaving a white space with the procedure information. Any restrictions and notes valid for the whole procedure shall be gathered together as far as possible in the upper area of the chart. The FIR boundary with the four letter ICAO codes Coordinates for each waypoint will be present on star charts. The airway designator, when required to clarify when an airway joins a star or arrival route. The star designator to be shown along a segment of that procedure. The speed limit points will be shown on all fixes where speed limit applies. It will be shown by three little stars either side of the point with the speed limit underneath the waypoint name or in a floating box. Track and distance to be shown on the route between each reporting point or fix. Holding patterns will be present like so. We will show the inbound and outbound magnetic tracks of the hold with any altitude present. In this example, the minimum altitude for the hold is 7,000 feet. NavBlue will not show the track bearing if it is the same for the associated procedure line. In this slide, we can look at any key differences in the Jefferson and NavBlue star charts. Here we have a waypoint restriction. There is a speed with this waypoint, and NavBlue will publish the speed limit point stars at that fix. The magnetic track and distance to be shown on the procedure line. Holding information will be published within the hold. If space is a problem, text will be present near the hold. The radar vectoring symbol with a floating box note. The 
the speed limit point depiction. Nav Blue will show communications in order on all charts. The data link on the ATIS will be published with the D behind rather than in front. Note usually in the top right of the chart if space permits. The communications failure published on the chart, as in this example, is relevant for this procedure only.